In this example, the revenue from the sale of X coffee makers is given by Rx equals 40X minus 0.4X squared dollars. The total cost is given by Cx equals 370 plus 16X minus 0.2X squared dollars, where X between 0 and 100. Determine the intervals where the profit is increasing and where it is decreasing. We're going to target on the profit. Increasing means the profit in P increasing means the derivative of the P is positive. In decreasing, the derivative of the P is negative. Starting with writing the profit function, which is the Px equals the Rx minus the Cx. The Rx is the quantity 40x minus 0.4x squared subtracted by the Cx, which is 370, plus 16 times x minus 0 0.2 times x squared. Take away the grouping symbol and collect like terms. Make sure we distribute the negative side to all terms. And then collect like terms. Uh, 40 x Minus 16x, we get 24x. And then negative 0.4x squared and plus 0.2x squared becomes negative 0.2x squared with the constant 370. This is the profit function. And after that, we're going to find the derivative, which is a marginal profit. So P prime is the derivative of 24x is 24. Derivative of 0.2 x squared is 0.4 x. Derivative of 370 is 0. Now we get the P prime or the derivative of the profit is 24 minus 0.4 x. To determine the increasing decreasing interval of the profit. So we're going to find out first when is P prime going to be 0 or where the slope going to be 0. So we have 24 minus 0 0.4x equals 0. And solve for x equals 24 divided by 0 0.4, which is 60. And x 60 is between 0 and 100. That means the solution is valid. This one, the p prime x equals 0. And we're going to use this x to determine the interval of increase decrease. So if 60 is right there and starting from 0 and stop at 100 as the interval of the x, and we determine the size of the p prime, and p prime is 24 minus 0 0.4x. We determine the side again. Since at 60, this one p prime is 0. This is a breaking point right there. We look x between 60 and 100, pick the numbers. If we pick the number, for example, uh, let's see 80. If we pick 80, uh, um, 8 times 4 is 32. The side going to be, p prime going to be negative inside, less than 0. If x is between 0 and 60, for example, 50, 24 minus 0.4 times 50, so we have p prime greater than zero, we put the plus side here, put minus side there. That tells us the profit P of X is increasing if X between zero and 60 and profit is decreasing if X is Greater than 60, less than or equal to 100. 